Hey guys, somebody talked about Licorix, Licorix, this, this thing, right? And you need to build it, and if you already built a Linux kernel, or you saw one of the videos of mine, then you know it can take an hour or maybe more, right? Depending on how fast is your computer. So I went to look first in PAMAC, PAMAC gives me a link, and then I go to the website, and so on, and so on, and so on. So I learn, and learn, and learn, and I find out that we can add a repo to the system and it's com coming with Stephen Barrett and there is Linux LQX on AWAR. We're not gonna build it, it takes much too long. So why not add it to the list? So this particular person on Discord wants to build something based with a different kernel. There are so many kernels out there, right? Just do yay Linux kernel and be amazed. There's a long list and you just scroll up and you have how many numbers? that mention Linux and kernel, we're at 600 already. So you get a message. So there can be hundreds, um, thousands maybe, kernels manually created, for example, that the user says, I'll build it myself because of the hardware and such, such more. We've done that also in tutorials. Now, I just wanna play around with it because I've never installed a Linux kernel from Licorix, like so this one. So what I'll do is play, not on the ISO builder, thank you very much, right? Not on this machine that keeps rolling and rolling, but on a virtual machine, right? You play in things that can break and doesn't have any repercussion, of repercussion, right? So if this is FSJFS I see, so we have, um, soon we'll have new ISOs and then at the beginning of November. So this is probably one of them, let's have a look. Yes, so this is the one from November, in a few days you'll have them. And I would like to have Licorix. So let's go to the browser. Let's find again the Arch Linux unofficial repositories. So you just start typing Arch Linux unofficial. There we are. Click. Control find liquor. That's probably why I'm so interested in it. Liquorix, right? And we have here the line I need. Control C, Control T, and Pacman. And then we have a look. Where shall we put it? At the bottom. Control Shift V. Little space. There it is. Control X. Yes, please. Thank you. And then we update. So we get the key in. Well, not the key but the database in from, yeah, I was, I see there's an error there. I was playing around, right? This is a virtual box, I don't care. I, errors don't mind. So I'm not gonna update everything, which I should do probably, but I just wanna install the kernel. So sudo pacman minus s, and then Linux l something. There he is, so lqx, and I have, well, my reflex, reflex is that I often need the headers as well. So I'm in installing, normally I would install these two on a real metal machine, right? In this case, well, doesn't matter. Look at the size. Okay, go my friend. So I am currently on the normal kernel because we have XS, LTS, right? XS, sorry, XS, LTS, Zen, and Xenmod, right? So if for whatever reason hardware doesn't work with the normal Linux kernel, this is the normal one, then you use, you try the Zen one, you try the LTS one, you try the Xenmod, because every kernel is different. And I've made videos about it to show you what's different, not that you need to learn anything. Eh? But we have a key problem. So first of all, we need to have the key from this guy. That's the key we want. Do you want to delete it? Yes, yes, okay. So the key, that's, let me think, what alias was that again? We've made an alias to go to the GPG, no, the Pacman, no. I don't recall it, right? Getting old. File system, etc. Pacman.t. I thought we made 
a key binding there, a, a, a alias to check out. And yes, key server Ubuntu is good. All the rest is not used. So that's good. I would try this one or maybe the one with 80, so port 80. And see if that actually works. Again, we have other aliases to import things. Well, yeah, I'll probably have to type alias and have a look. What was it again? So there are things in here that are to just do this and then maybe pipe it to grep and then GPG. Let's see those things. Fix GPG. Then there's the retrieve. So this one fix. Let's put you over here. Yeah, thank you. Control T fix what gpg retrieve that one let's see so that's imported oh, okay so we've got that imported but that's of course my personal one fix key server No, that's okay. Here we have fixed Pac-Man key server. Let's do that one. Fix Pac-Man key server. We have copy pasted something to something. Let's see again what this content is. All right. So this is the new one. It's 80 that we're using. Maybe, maybe, let's have a look. So this is imported. What happens if I do this again? If the key of this particular person is on the Ubuntu server, we can import it, but we can't. It's corrupted, it says unknown key, unknown key. So let's see if we can do a pseudo Pacman key. Pacman, let's see. Pacman key, yeah, it was a dash, and then something. So dot dot uh, slash slash or minus minus. I mean, something. Mm -hmm. Populate list keys, verify, receive keys. There you are. Receive keys. That one, please. Aha. So that's done. And we got the key in, but it's not signed yet. So we're gonna do again a pseudo Pacman key. Back to the basics. Uh, aliases. <laughs> Get rid of it. Back to the basics. The code local sign me that particular key, and voila, we trust it now. So because of the trust, Pacman knows now. Hey, I can trust this little guy, this key, and we go up, we go up, and we just install it. If Pacman checks the key, he says, "All right, I trust it. It's locally signed," and uh, off it goes. I do believe we had something in here like this one, GPG, that's um, not it, I think. Um, pop, pop, pop. Maybe we could do this one as well. The Pac-Man key. Oh yeah, it's just that one then. Okay, thought I had more. So you see the code was up here. So what do we remember? That's the last option, locally sign. First get the key in, and get the key in was here. Pseudo Pacman key, receive the key, and it all depends, right? If the user, if the maintainer has his key on this particular server or somewhere else, right? Check it out, maybe they're not on Ubuntu, but they're somewhere else and all the other guys, so all key servers. And then everything is okay. Reboot is recommended. Let's do that. Super reboot. <laughs> Pseudo reboot, of course. These days it's just reboot, but we keep SR. Keep it simple and stupid. We're used to typing SR. Let's see. Will the kernel boot? Is it there? Is it fast? I don't know. What is it doing? I don't know, right? You ask the developer. 
So you see that we have the Linux kernel, not the LX. Okay, let's have a look around. File system, uh, boot of course, and then we have here Linux LQX and Linux LQX. All right, cool. So I'm gonna remove, uh, sudo remove, no, no. Pseudo pacman minus r remove Linux and maybe Linux headers. I don't know. Let's see if they're both in there. Yes. So without these two guys, we just have this one, right? Linux Linux. And then we start again. You can already check here with an E, and indeed there is loading Linux, Linux LQX. All right, go for it. Like I said, I have no clue if this one is fast and what it does. It doesn't really matter for me. For me, the story ends here. Just wanted to install it and see if it works and what problems I would have. And that's it for me, right? All the information you just go find on the website. Here is the guy who makes it. He knows what's it all about. There's a website. And there is a Git repo I see here. And there are issues on there. Problem with pterodactyl, so dinosaur problem. <laughs> I don't know what all this is. This is really, really nerdy, right? Kernels is really technical. But voila, that's enough for me. I've learned a little bit, saw a little bit, tested a little bit. Fine. Cheers.